Hey, my name's Joseph, and I'm going to be looking at a box I found in my basement. I've been trying to clean up down here, and this box says collectible newspaper. If you don't know what a newspaper is, that's a, <laughs> a printed thing that used to be co to come out, and they would deliver it to your house, and it would have the news. So it was paper, and it was the news. So we're going to look at some of the things that are in here. Uh, these probably go back at least over 30 years of my life. So these will be things, that either sports-related things I collect. You know, sometimes people collect, like, uh, the, when they landed on the moon or when a, 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 ma a major event happens in history, they'll collect it. But I collect a lot of stuff related to my family. So this one is when my niece, <laughs> so this is the most recent one. Uh, in Sparta, in Hancock County, my niece, Hancock County's newest resident host open house. So there's Cassie. That's my niece, my, my sister's daughter. She bought this big house that needed a lot of work. It's kind of a uh, old mansion-like house there in Sparta. So uh, that was a pretty neat open house we went to. Actually, I'm going to move this box and we'll slide the papers in. All right, and this is creative loafing and that is my nephew Christian who sadly he just as I'm filming this he just had his last performance in the Atlanta Ballet he's been doing that since he was a little kid he married one of the ballerinas they have a little five-year-old boy but that was my niece Christian who did the Atlanta Ballet for many years all right here is wait a minute why did I <sighs> Right, this is when Mark McGuire passed Maris. So now we've gone all the way back to 1998. Of course, that's changed since then. Why did I tell him right. I knew I didn't buy this for me. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's when Mark McGuire passed uh, Roger Maris. Of course, that later was later broken, but that's not why I have this. Uh, if I turn over to the Metro and State section, there we see one of the guys, Nick, working on the Georgia Cyclone. That's a roller coaster at Six Flags over Georgia. All right, so it's getting ready for the park to close. But look at here. Who's that handsome fella? Wait a minute, you can't see it. Let me zoom in there. <laughs> there we go. Six Flags seasonal employee Joseph Olson uses a hose to clean sidewalks on Tuesday after Labor Day. Some businesses see a slowdown in their use, especially theme parks such as Six Flags and Whitewater. Awesome. Well, so Mark McGuire may have passed Roger Mayer's record at that time, but I got this because I was in the paper. <laughs> I got to remember that so I don't throw this paper away. Like, oh yeah, this is uh, when Roger Mayer's uh, record was broken by Mark McGuire. No, it's when Joseph Olson got in the paper. <laughs> All right, next one. That was 98. I, you know, the, oh, look. This is when the Falcons first went to the Super Bowl. Uh, That's when they beat the Minnesota uh, Vikings on that field goal by Morton Anderson. So that's why I got that one. And then they turned around and lost to Denver in the Super Bowl there. And that was 98, 99 season. All right, what do we have here? Atlanta Constitution. This one's kind of faded. Jordan retires. Oh, man. I don't know why I got this one. I don't even have the sports section in there. I took it out. Where's the sports section? It's in the Metro. I don't know why I have this. E1. Ah, who knows? I'll have to go through that and look. Oh, wait a minute. Here's the rest of it. Maybe it all went with this. Let's see. September. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm so dumb! Look at that. That's why I got this. September 11th. September 11th. 2001. Okay. So we don't really need to relive all that. That's what that was all about. 
Oh, man. Yeah. Sad day. All right. Next up, this is... Okay, now I did think I got this. Rip, oh, Ripken streak. There, McGuire hit 65. Braves win 101st. But Cal Ripken set out of a game intentionally. Into his streak. So there's another one of those papers that has me in it. <laughs> How many did I get? <laughs> oh, I got three. <laughs> so a total of four of those. I need to put those in some kind of protection, protective thing. All right. This is the for the when the Falcons went to the Super Bowl. So these aren't necessarily in order here. Let's see what do we got here. Super Bowl preview, Super Bowl. That's all about the '98 Super Bowl. Here they are. This they beat the Falc of uh, the Vi Falcons beat the Vikings. Did the Dirty Bird. All right. Now this one. Let's see. Seventy. That's when McGuire hit a seventieth. But Barry Bonds later broke that record. So no point in keeping that. Let's see. Why do I have this one? I have no idea. That's part. I think that's part of the Super Bowl time there. Yeah, more Super Bowl stuff. I was buying. I guess all the keep, keeping all the papers from when they went to the Super Bowl. Ready? Oh no! This one got bent. Oh well. I ruined it. I'm never going to be able to sell this for a million dollars. Oh well. All right, let's see here. Braves walk to World Series. Oh, that was. Um... Oh, here's here's news. I-85 jammed for hours. Just call that Tuesday. You know. <laughs> oh goodness. They just reopened I-85 after it burned. 8,300 Jehovah's Witnesses gathered today in Columbus. That was a convention down there. Let's see, local Columbus. All right. I don't know what I got this one for. I have no idea. Oh, trying to figure out why I got newspapers. Somebody died. Will I Ray? <laughs> Not Will I Am. Will I Ray? Oh, look! I got this one. REM. My uh, one of my favorite bands of all time. We got a lot more newspapers to go through here. We got. Maybe I should fix this. The funeral for D Princess Diana. More on D Princess Di. Sorry if I'm going through these fast. I'll probably just let my wife see these. She probably doesn't even know I have them. More Princess Di. When did she die? Yeah, we've been married a short while. Here's another thing on REM. What do we got here? We have the sporting news talking about the Wilkins. Dominique Wilkins is in this one. Ooh. Ooh, Dominique. I need to set this one aside. Wilkins Brothers. Oh, Dominique playing for <laughs> San Antonio. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to set that aside and put it in my Dominique collection. There's the Braves. Oh, that that's a World Series they should have won. 96. Yeah. Oh, that, that was a disappointing thing. There's where the Braves killed the Yankees in the first two games and then lost four in a row after that. Yeah, it just really... They had the... The Braves... Okay, and this... The Braves had the best five-game stretch 
in the history of modern baseball as far as runs and not allowing runs. They had five straight, pretty much blowouts, like 12-1, 13-1, 13-0. Uh, they beat the Cardinals three in a row, beat the Yankees two in a row. It was the best run differential for five games ever in the history of baseball, and they lost the World Series after that. All right, here I will do this. Five kids among seven killed in Cedartown house fire. Neek nets a record. That's a real buzz kill. I feel bad for those kids. That's a bad use of words. Sorry about that. Um, there's Dominique. So, I was at that game. Oh, no. So sad. But I was at that game. I was at that game. I wish this... Oh, I just hate it when there's bad news. Alright, there's tow cars. Sure winter and tow cars. That's the lawyer who... Uh, Killed his wife. All right, and there's more brave stuff. I, I guess I got a lot of braves. 1995. This year they won the World Series. And here is the paper from Atlanta's only World Series win. 1995. Olson. <laughs> That's my name. Oh, here's another. This is Dominique the Wilkins era. I'm going to put that aside and put it in my Dominique collection. Let's see. don't know why I have that. February 27th, 1994. Probably has something to do with Dominique. It's neat. Oh, my God. Oh, this is the worst day ever of my life. As far as sports goes, they traded Dominique for Danny Manning. Oh, that was so dumb. And then I, there's Dominique as a Clipper. Went to the game. The Clippers beat the Hawks. That was pretty awesome. I was at this game. Okay, I said, um, Hawks stunned Bulls again with a 123-114 win. Dominique scored 42, set the NBA record with 23 consecutive free throws. That's 23 free throws with no misses, by the way. Uh, the record for consecutive free throws is much more than that, but that's, it was the record for a game, and uh, I was at that game. So that is pretty cool. Put that in my Dominique collection. All right, Falcons. What am I doing with these? Oh, Manning Deal, Angers Wilkins. Put that in my Dominique collection. Dominique collection. Oh, look. All right. You remember my nephew I had at the beginning of this long video? There he is uh, as a young kid in the Nutcracker. So this was back in 93. So 1993. And now here in 2017, he's retired. All right. And I was at this game. Oh, that was a good game. The Hawks beat. I mean, the Hawks lost to the Clippers. Dominique had a great game. Uh, we were cheering like everything. It was like a home game for the Clippers. There's Kent Merker's no-hitter. Maddox. I think some of this is... Uh, oh, look. There was the uh, Sid Slid. Where were you when Sid Slid? Braves rally for incredible ninth inning win. 1992. 1992. These things are getting yellowed over time. I should get rid of these. Cabrera's hit. So that is all the Sid Slid stuff there. That's what all that is. Braze. Yep. Man, his papers are worn out. Alright, and then I don't know what this is. Probably the same thing. Was this 92? Yeah, that's all the Sid Slid stuff. Uh, that's something about the Olympics. What else we got? Uh, oh, this is where I made the... Uh, I trolled the uh, newspaper. I think that's what this was. Yeah, I was a troll. <laughs> Uh, yeah, dinosaurs are cool. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Andy Newton, you're an idiot. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> you troll people and they don't know they're being trolled. All right. Let's see. That's, I think that's when Tech wins the national. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh, I found it! I've been looking for this. Oh, I thought I lost it. Oh, man, it's my Peep Book comic book. Oh, this is so rare. I don't believe it. I thought it was lost. All right. Uh, 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 some candy. <laughs> I think it was like a lollipop or something got on this the day I bought it. So that's what this stain is here. But this comic is like almost impossible to find. Little T Comics presents Peep Buck. Oh. Ah. Guess. Uh, all right. I'm going to. Tell you what, I'm going to stop there. I still got half the box to go. Maybe I'll do another video. Uh, I'm really, really, really happy right now. Um, this is a super rare comic book. Um, even with the stain. I, I, this, the car, it was hot that day, the day we bought it. It uh, wax and facts and little five points in near Atlanta. And, um, yeah, I was really upset that that happened there. It melted and it got on the, um, comic book. But this is awesome. Yes. Thanks for watching this video. This is a brief history of Joseph Olson and his newspaper collection took me 20 years to get over the Hawks trading Dominique Wilkins to the Clippers for Danny Manning. Uh, but all that anger is gone now. I have forgiven the Hawks because everybody's gone that caused all that to happen. And now this is a great day because I have found my Pete Buck comic book. Stay tuned for the next video. Someone's calling Joseph Olson. Don't answer it, Joseph Olson. Someone's calling Joseph Olson. Don't answer it, Joseph Olson. Someone's calling Joseph Olson. Don't answer it, Joseph Olson. Because everybody's gone. It caused all that to happen. And now, this is a great day because. I have found my Pete Buck comic book.